What is cracking, everybody? It is January 21st, 2024, in beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. And I am doing an update video for you guys because I wanted you to see what the road conditions are like coming in town and around town. So, if you've been watching the news at all, you hear that we have three inches of snow on the ground in this part of town, in Big Bear Lake. This is why I never ever trusted watching the news for weather or frankly anything else anyway but for the weather also and I, I just don't know why these statements are made I know we, we it probably snowed three inches but our temperatures never got really down to freezing last night so it just wasn't sticking so I can see that maybe we did get three inches so far but to say there's three inches on on the ground i know i have a lot of homies that would literally like for any accumulating snow this year like that they would call in sick or do something and get their butts up here and then when they got here they'd probably be disappointed so i i want you guys to see what it looks like on the ground right now and don't forget go to bigbearweatherandmore.com to get your merchandise and support the brand i'd be super thankful I, I absolutely love doing this and to see people wearing the Big Bear Weather merch just makes me so happy. I've already seen quite a bit up here which is shocking to me. Like I, I can't believe it. So please guys, that's what makes me happy is seeing you guys wearing it. Like that's awesome stuff. Like, like we created this together you guys. This channel is nothing without you guys. Absolutely nothing. And by the way, didn't expect this but we're getting a little a little drizzle now a little rain <laughs> and then also don't forget right up here get boards there's a get boards right there on the corner and then there's a get boards on this corner right there if you go in there and, and tell them I sent you if you bring your own skis and your own snowboard in there they will wax it for free and also they have discounted ski rentals compared to the, to the actual mountain. Um, best prices up here, I can guarantee you that. Ownership, super cool. Tony is a really, really great dude. Um, he'll always take care of you guys, especially when you mentioned that I sent you. And uh, yeah, they've, they've got everything. They've got snowboard and ski rental clothing too. I know that sounds weird, but I I checked it out and it's it's really really nice stuff that's very clean. So you, you have to, but 25 bucks for a whole outfit is just incredible. It'll save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars. A lot of you are probably not not going to use your $500 ski outfit that often, so you can rent it for 25 bucks and uh, have a blast. You can get your lift tickets through Getboards as well. Just go to getboards.com. And if you do it 72 hours before the day you're planning on going, then you will get a discounted lift ticket price. Cheaper than if you went to the window at Snow Summit or Bear Mountain the day that you want to go skiing. Or Snow Valley. So any way I can help you guys save a couple bucks, let's do it. Let's do it. Get boards. But yeah, guys, so... We are getting some light, light drizzle. It's 39 degrees out here. A bit on the warmer side. We don't have really much weather supposed to be coming through till obviously when I want to be trying to sleep, but I always tell myself I can sleep when uh, I'm not breathing anymore. I love doing this. I'm never too tired to do these videos for you guys. And I'm just happy that, that mother nature gave me something on this drive like some drizzle right now just so it's not a totally plain update video but it's an important one again as as i said some of the news stations are saying there's three inches of snow on the ground it looks beautiful and white and it is beautiful without snow but yeah there's 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 not three inches so we're going to be going to the snowiest part of town snowiest part of the valley so you guys can see that we're going to be going around the lake to get a nice perspective of what it looks like over here from the other side of the lake we're not going to be going into the baldwin area for the um 
for the, the Big Bear snow rule because it's not going to look any different over there than it does here. There's going to be no snow anywhere over there. Like no snow. This is the Alpine slide at Magic Mountain, guys. There's a roller coaster, there's sledding. Um, they have a lot of fun stuff there. A lot of fun stuff. You guys would really enjoy yourselves. It costs 20 bucks per person to ride the roller coaster. And I hope that you would uh, try it out. It's a nice Alpine coaster coming down the mountain. It's, it's really fun. I have a couple videos, a playlist about that place, riding that roller coaster so you can actually see it before you come up here and spend any money on it. Yeah, the sky does look really, really ominous. It, it looks angry, like it, it wants to uh, just explode. And that's what I like to see up here, but this is all just hyperbole <laughs> that you're seeing right now. And when we start getting snow again at about midnight, I will be making another live feed, but I figured why start another one all day today uh, when we're not supposed to really get anything. But once it starts snowing again, I think this last day of the storm when it when it actually begins is, is gonna be, uh, or well, yeah, is gonna be the best part of this storm where everything around here could be white come Tuesday for the aftermath video. And the aftermath, no matter what, we'll be driving through Baldwin Lake and parts of Sugarloaf. As you can see, not much traffic coming into town, which is great for all of you uh, who wanted to try to make your way up here to be part of this next little system that's that's coming through. Again, most people are probably gonna be heading out of town, you know, right about now actually, because it is Sunday. Sunday is usually a good amount of traffic going the way that we're going right now, but it's not so bad, not so bad right now. Looks like across the lake they're getting some weather over there, so we'll be over there soon to see what is going on. To see what is going down. It might just be really foggy over there, but it did look like something going on so we'll be there in no time give my buddy a little quick honk with my train horn he's a cool cat his name's Augie and, and, and we just passed a pizza joint that I wanted to point out to you guys um, gosh, I think it's called like Karma Pizza or, 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 or something like that. It's a, it's a brand new place up here. It's on the corner of Blue Jay and Big Bear Boulevard right here in the Boulder Bay area. Right across from Boulder Bay Market. But go in there, see, see my buddy Augie. Um, buy a pizza from him. Just enjoy yourselves. That's such a beautiful place, beautiful part of town right here, Boulder Bay.
this is not nearly as bad as it usually is, as I said, on Sundays. On Sundays, your best bet is to go around the lake on, on the other side and take Highway 38 to the Big Bear Dam and just avoid all the traffic. There are little tricks of the trade up here, you guys. I try to help you out. I try to show you guys what I can. But yeah, we are entering the snowiest part of the valley. And you can see there is more, more snow on the ground over here. around the next corner. Oh wait, no, it is right here. That's the Castle Rock Trail. It's one of our most popular hikes up here. It's it's difficult because it's, it's steep. It's not that long. It's maybe like just over a half mile, three quarters of a mile, but it's it's uphill the, the whole way. And, and as I said, it's pretty steep. But once you get to Castle Rock, it's beautiful views of the whole entire valley. The views of the lake are just epic from there. second half of the lakeside drive over on 38 we will get some decent views but for the first part yeah it's just going to be all clouds which is what we're driving through right now other direction so you can see how funny that rock looks. Alright, so when you come into town through this area, you guys, you're, you're gonna think that it looks like this everywhere. But again, this is by far the snowiest part of town. And even though in most of the town you don't see any snow on the ground really, the ski resorts definitely got some nice fresh snow, you guys. So conditions will be amazing. Conditions will be amazing especially compared to the rest of the year prior or the rest of our season prior conditions are you're going to enjoy yourself and keep in mind our people who, who groom the snow and do the snow making these people have it down to an absolute science and they do a wonderful job to make sure that you guys have a great time and it feels like it snowed the previous night when you show up early 
for opening time to go skiing. They do a great job, you guys. When I went a week ago, um, I was really, really, really surprised how good it was. Of course, there were a few ice patches, but I mean, for, for the most part, they did a wonderful job. You just want to get there early. All right, guys, there's so much fog over here. We're driving right alongside the lake right here and you can't even see it. got a friend of the channel who requested that I uh, please point out his place when I'm driving by over here so I'm gonna do that I don't know exactly which place it is can't, I can't remember but I remember approximately where it is so of course I'm gonna do that our friend Cameron spot or not but I'm trying I'm trying for you bro I got it. I think I got it. Feels like Swamp Thing is going to jump out of that lake. You guys remember Swamp Thing? to my favorite house on this drive because of its location on the corner up here. It's this teal green bluish house. I always say, imagine waking up in one of these bedrooms right here and in this house that faces that house. That guy's got the view of like the whole lake because this house wraps around the corner right there. That's just so cool. are entering fawn skin and the eagle habitat area 
This is where our two famous eagles live. And people aren't supposed to be over here. There's signs everywhere that say it's an eagle habitat. Please stay off and stay away, but you know, it's kind of a bummer to see that, but people want to go sledding. So, you know, down with the rules, right? As long as they don't mess with the eagles, we're good. Yeah, there's people all over the habitat. Oh, there's some blue sky right there. So as I said, the further we go this way and cut back over towards the lake, we're probably gonna get some nice views across the lake at this point once we get back to the lake views. So that's good. Downtown Fonskin. There it was. Dana Point, Vaughn Harbor. When I first moved up here, because I I grew up close to uh, Dana Point in, uh, in Newport Beach, and so when I saw this up here, it just made me feel like I was a little bit closer to home. But after being here, May 1st will be nine years. I definitely, uh, feel like this is home now for a while there I, I didn't think I was ever gonna feel like this was home just because you know all my memories and great times were always in Orange County most of my family and all my friends in Orange County It still is foggy over here on the lake. I'm hoping a little further up we'll have some better views. And I'm starving. I'm a hungry, hungry hippo.
of Fawn Skin, and we are on Highway 38, heading back towards Big Bear City and Big Bear Lake. Again, when there's a lot of traffic coming into town, this, this route will save you so much time. And when you're leaving town on a Sunday, same exact thing, come the opposite way to leave town. like what I do help me out hit the like and subscribe button help the channel grow a little bit of course I want to have deserved it so I hope you guys think I deserve it This way, the less snow you'll see. Alright, we are going to get a decent view across the lake here, guys. It's going to be nice seeing s s uh, snow summit just completely engulfed in clouds at the top. It's going to be beautiful. That's the view that I'm always hopeful for, is that view right there. get a little bit better in just a second. In just a second it'll get a little bit better. Isn't that something? I mean, that is just beautiful. Stanfield cut off now and we're gonna make a right hand turn on Stanfield. Coming up to a pretty decent view of our lake as well right here. This is the very end of the lake on this end. The other end is is the dam. This side, we got this water feature over here. Well, cool 
guys. Thanks again for cruising with me. Just wanted to make sure that you guys see what, what it's looking like on the ground over here. Roads, as you can see, were absolutely great. No issues at all. So come on up and have a great time. Come on up and have a great time. Thank you guys again for being here. Um, like and subscribe. Help me out. Go to BigBearWeatherMore.com. Get yourself some awesome, awesome merchandise. Puffer jackets, hoodies, coffee mugs, candles. Awesome, awesome t-shirts. Cool designs. I think you guys will be stoked. And this is one of my favorite views in the whole town. Coming around that corner right there to see our skiers. Wow, that is just something else. As a matter of fact, just to get a better view of that. We're not going to end the video right away. We're going to turn through here and go back to this street back here and get the unobstructed view over here. All right, so this is the Vaughn's parking lot, the Interlaken Shopping Center. Interlaken. that's German or Swiss or something like that and this neighborhood is a nice nice neighborhood one of our few gated communities up here yeah here we go once we make this little left hand turn right here this view is gonna be epic there you know, we'll just point it out right here Wow straight ahead here you can't see it but Bear Mountain is straight ahead at 12 o'clock now we're done take care guys it's January 21st 2024 thanks again for all the support we'll be setting up another live just after midnight when it starts snowing again and I am definitely looking forward to that and obviously when it starts snowing again we'll be out making another video too so Best of both worlds. I'll talk to you guys later. Until next time, stay safe out there. I love you guys. And uh, thanks again for growing this channel with me. Peace, guys.